Hey guys, today we're going to talk about RAM and we're going to be talking about DIMMs versus SODIMMs. What's the difference? Well, over here you see you have we have two DIMMs, for example, and over here we have two SODIMMs. Now a DIMM is a dual inline memory module. So uh, D-I-M-M, DIMM, right? And SODIMMs are small outline dual inline memory modules. So uh, that's these guys right here. So dims. So uh, yeah, the most obvious thing is the size. So uh, a dim is going to be much larger, and a so dim is going to be much smaller. Now the usage is also different. Now typically um, a dim is going to be used in desktop computers and servers, whereas a so dim is going to be used in laptops, notebooks, um, and other small factor uh, computer, small form factor computers that, uh, you know, where space is limited. For example, I actually pulled this one out of uh, this device here. It's a small form factor desktop PC. So um, normally you're gonna find them so dims in laptops, but they can come in other small form factor uh, PCs. Um, another thing to, uh, another large difference is the uh, is the pinout. So an equivalent um, so dim, are, so the, the pins are gonna be different. So this is DDR3. And these these are these are actually all DDR3, but they have different pinouts. Now, the a DIM and a so DIM are going to have different pinouts, even though they're both DDR3. So, for example, for DDR3, a DIM is going to have 240 pins. So this guy's 240, and a so DIM is going to have 204. Now, if you're talking about DIMs, DDR is going to give you 184 pins. Uh, DDR2 is 240. Um, DDR3 is also 240, and DDR4 is 288, and DDR5 is also 288. But if you're talking about SODIMs, a DDR SODIM would be 200, DDR2 is 200, DDR3 is 204, and DDR4 is 260, and DDR5 is 262. So um, yeah, they, they all vary depending on the generation of DDR and depending on whether or not they're a DIM or a SODIM. So that's the basic difference between DIMs and SODIMs. So obviously, you know, if, if you have a, a laptop with a slot that's meant to fit this, you can't stick this in there, even though they're both DDR3. Um, you know, also obviously you wouldn't want to stick like a DDR4 stick inside a DDR3 uh, slot. But that basically wraps that up. Um, make sure uh, you hit that, if you found this useful, hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, maybe give me a thumbs up too, but also, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button, but, but hit the little bell icon too. Otherwise YouTube won't let you know when we come out with new videos and we have a lot of great stuff coming up that you're not going to want to miss out on. We do a lot of hardware stuff. We do a lot of stuff with Linux, Windows, um, Apple stuff. We do, um, you know, a lot of electronics robot building, Raspberry Pis, coding, scripting, automation, uh, 3D printing, just lots of cool tech stuff that you're going to want to have in your feed. So definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the hit the bell icon. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up. I'm going to be pushing out a lot, lot of interesting videos in the, in the upcoming days. So uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. And if you know something I don't know or you have any questions, definitely leave a comment down below. Um, I am planning on uh, doing a, a focus on RAM and um, I'm going to be put, putting out a lot of uh, RAM related uh, videos coming up uh, and I'm still going to keep on with my uh, Linux command videos for you know those of you watching this who have watched my Linux command videos um, those are kind of popular people tend to like those so putting a ton more of those out a lot, lot of Linux stuff and a lot of other great tech stuff you're going to want to stay tuned for so uh, yeah definitely stay tuned for that and that's about it for today so thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video